come on in welcome to my home today we're going to talk laundry detergent yes I've finally done it I finally made the laundry detergent video because I didn't make it for so long because this lasts for a really long time I mean a really long time now if you've watched my laundry videos you can click that I and you can click that card it'll take you to the day where um, it'll take you to that playlist where those laundry videos reside but you'll notice that I use this laundry detergent all the time. In fact, when I make it, I have enough that I get enough and mom gets enough. And I would say that this has lasted us, I'm going to say, at least six months doing normal laundry in a normal way for two people. So it's been at least six months. I can't even remember the last time that I made it. But this is wonderful. I use this for everything. Um, you probably will see me try out some other laundry detergents later on coming up, but this is the one that I've been using, this is the one that I've been loving. Okay, let's get into how to make it, and there's a big thing to remember. This is not a laundry detergent for cold water. Uh, what it is, is it has soap. Soap needs some heat to actually, you know, dis dissolve. So, that being said, you need to remember that you should use this in medium or hot water. And I do not have a high efficiency uh, uh, washing machine, so I do not know how it would work in that. I have no clue, and I have there's nothing really that I could even give you any ideas if this would work in that. I'm using just a regular washing machine that I've had now for like 8 years. It's rusting. It needs some help. But this is the laundry detergent that I use. I love it. Absolutely is wonderful. So let's get into it. So how do I make it? Well, the first thing that I do is I start off with three bars of Fells Nafta soap. Now the thing to remember is that my soap has been graded. Uh, you do not have to grate this. You could chop this up in the food processor, but it just makes it go easier. Then once I put, what I do is I put that into the food processor so that way I can then make it finer. Now you can mix this in with some of the other dry ingredients to get an even finer powder, but I've found that after using this for quite a while that I do not need to. Now let's go with our next ingredients. One of them is washing soda. You can make your own washing soda. I have done that in a pinch before, but lately I've been able to find washing soda easier than I can find baking soda. So then I will put that in there. Then that is followed by borax. All of these things are, they're really great for me to use in my laundry detergent. I love them. It works so well. Now the one which is really weird. You'll notice I have tons and tons and tons of boxes of baking soda. You can get this in just one box. Down in the description, it does have the uh, ingredients or the recipe for this, uh, but it is down there, and I mix that up, and as I'm going along, I am mixing this and stirring this up because there's a lot of it. I mean, there is a ton of it, and if you try to do this without mixing up as you go along, you're going to be mixing for a long time. And then I put in the OxyClean. The OxyClean, I think, helps keep everything nice and bright and wonderful. It is so easy to use. I Then I mix everything up. And the stirring part of it, I will say, since this is a fine powder, you want to stir this in a well-ventilated area um, because it is. It's a super fine powder. It gets everywhere. So make sure that you are in a really well-ventilated area. Once it is all stirred up and thoroughly mixed in together, then you can portion it out. I use the OxyClean container to put the one that's going back over to mom. Uh, you put some in my big container, and I still, had, I still have some left over, which went into another container. This will make a lot. So how much do I use? I use two tablespoons f full of this detergent, or this laundry soap, for every uh, dirty load. So if it's a full load, I will do two tablespoons. If it's not that dirty, I will use one tablespoon. It really is easy to use. Just throw it in there and you're ready to go. Now I did wonder what the difference between laundry soap and laundry detergent is. A detergent will rinse out without, will wash out without it needing to be rinsed. A soap needs to be rinsed. That, that's the difference that I could find. But I can say from with all of my experience, this is what I've found I love. I love using this. 
and I will probably keep on using this. But do keep your eye out. There will be other uh, laundry videos coming up where I will test out some laundry products and see what I think about them. Have you made this before? Let me know down in the comments. I, like I said, I'm, I'm going, I love this, love this stuff. But I'd like to hear what you are interested in and what you use to do your laundry. Let me know down in the comments. And I hope that I get to see you the next time you stop by. Or you can check out one of these videos that I picked out just for you.